Buongiorno everyone, welcome back to the Mac by Channel TV. Welcome to Northern King's Gym. <laughs> I've just been put through an absolutely grueling Muay Thai session there. Ah, oh, kickboxing, boxing, oh everything. Absolutely pagad. Can barely walk. But shout out Sam Windas, so you can find him on Instagram. He invited me down here for a session. You know, I've been looking into getting into something like this for quite a while. I never really had the chance to do it, been injured a bit lately as well. So I thought I'd come down this morning. Put yourself on your pierces, and my God, it is a humbler, a fitness humbler. But I really enjoyed it. Good crack, you know, sparring and everything. Yeah, I'll definitely come back so you can check out Sam, you can check out these. And as you would have seen at the start of that ringside diner, they're upstairs as well. Great crack in there, lovely food, nice little protein shake. Well, I need a protein shake after that session. So, yeah, shout out to them, you know, just local business, trying to get it up and running. It is here on what is the address? Unit 24, Invincible Drive. There you go. Just next to the uh, the old Metro Radio Arena, not far from there. So there we have it. Let's get in the car and round up the transfer news because there is loads to get through. There is absolutely loads to talk about, and this will be saved mainly for tonight. To be honest, on the podcast run by live every Tuesday at seven PM podcast. Me and Kate will be there tonight at our naughty brewery, so we'll look forward to that. But we have to talk about the uh, the news that has broke this morning of Newcastle United's first summer signing. Lloyd Kelly, no secret in that one. Surprise, surprise. Kelly's been linked for several months now. God, when was the when was the first video on Lloyd Kelly? It must have been ages ago. Um, so he's set saying as a free agent from Bournemouth. A five-year deal has been agreed in principle. Now, Fabrizio Romano broke this early hours of this morning. Well, it may be about seven, to be fair. I got up just after eight. I don't know when it came out, but then it came straight here. So that's how I just jumped on now for you lot. Kelly, the new cash aid is a done deal. Even Sky Sports News are reporting now. Good old Keith's on that from, from Sheath as well. So from Sky Sports are all talking about it. A five-year deal, which was a bit different to the, the deal that Fabrano, Fabrano, <laughs> Fabrizio Romano, I need to go to bed after this session. <laughs> after the deal that Romano announced, he said, that Kelly had signed a contract until 2028, but uh, Sky are seen as 2029 because it's a five-year deal. So with an option of another year as well. Could be having six years in Newcastle. Kelly could be the next dummy. Because that's who he's replaced. So he could be having a long-term future at the Magpies if anything goes well after his time at the Cherry. So five-year deal signed in principle. A medical is booked for the defender in the next few days. And they will announce him as our first summer signing. And obviously, likely to follow him is the one we talked about on yesterday's video, young James Trafford, the goalkeeper from Burnley. Newcastle are still ongoing talks with the Clarets over a deal to get him signed. Personal terms have been agreed with the with the England keeper, but they are still working on a fee with Burnley, believed to be around 15, 60 million, rising to 19, 20 million. But we're going to focus on Kelly then. So Kelly looks like to be the first one through the door of a busy, busy summer at the tune. And this is what I want to talk about, right? Because some people are starting to warm to the idea of Kelly now. Maybe because they know he's coming and think, oh, well, may as well back him. Do you know what I mean? May as well back him. And you should do that with every player, to be fair. But they're now they're starting to think that. Yeah, I'm still seeing some stuff on, on Instagram and Twitter and stuff this morning. You know, saying, oh, what we're signing him for? Free signing from, from Bournemouth, you know. Oh, what's this, mate? Ashley? No, I think it's smart. I think it's quite an underrated signing. I do. I like the Lloyd Kelly deal. I think it's clever business from the club to get in a reliable Premier League experienced defender. He's a centre back that can play a left back. You know, he's he's quick. He's got good pace, which I didn't know too much about. To be fair, and shout out the lads from the Bournemouth channel. I've met him a few times there at the Continent Awards and stuff. They did this video I'll back on the screen there now on Kelly. So that gives you a great understanding of what to expect from Lloyd Kelly. So shout them out. I know that they tune in the channel uh, often. So big up lads if you're watching. And you know they were they were really ringing the praises of Lloyd Kelly. Just to summarise their video, but make sure you check them out. They talk about his pace. They talk about his recovery. They talk about how quick he is. How he is predominantly a centre back, but can start in that left back. He is very reliable. You know, he took the captain's armband, then he got it taken off him a bit because I think that that detrimented his poor performances a little bit. Having that captain's armband, the pressure of it. So I think it was Gary O'Neill who took that off him, and then he, he started playing better again. Obviously, he has had a couple of injuries, Kelly, which is a concern. But what I will talk about from what they said is the fact that they think he is good enough to be in the England team. So he should be in the England squad. And they think now he's got a big move to a bigger club in Newcastle, that he will get recognised by the three lines and could be a player for England in the future. And to be fair, we're really struggling in those positions. So I understand that, you know, left-back, Trippier's got, probably going to play because Shaw's always injured. Uh, Centre-back, we're struggling. Obviously, there's no Maguire and stuff now. So 
Yeah, you've got Gay here and that at the back. So there's room for defenders in that England team. That is our weak link, to be fair. So, yeah, so they really rate Kelly very highly. And I rate him. I think, like I say, it's a smart sign. And what I will say, like I said, busy summer in the tune. We've already had quite a few out. You know, your Richies, your Dummits, your Carriers. Ryan Fraser's about to go to Southampton. That's came out as well. That Obviously, he had that good loan spell at the Championship Club. who are now promoted to the Premier League. So they look to make that deal permanent. So Fraser is going to go to Southampton. So you're getting his wages off the book. Obviously, you know, who we got rid of Hendrick now off the books. Um, so we've freed up a lot of wages and a lot of Deadwood has left the club there. Debrafka is also linked with Celtic. So like I said, there's loads to talk about in tonight's podcast. But we'll just make this a quick video. So Debrafka at Celtic, Fraser at Southampton. Loads of Deadwood going there. Loads of fringe players. Loads of squad players that aren't really good enough now. That it's time to move on from. Bring in some fresh meat. Improve the squad and listen, we're doing that with Kelly. That's why I think it's a smart deal. You can get a 26-year-old, or is he 24? I always got him and Tosson's age mixed up. Mid-20s we'll go with. We'll get, we're getting a mid-20s Premier League experienced defender in for free. And in this day and age, that kind of be underestimated because everyone goes for silly money now. So getting someone in like Kelly, I like it. Obviously, How likes him. You know, How was the one that signed him for Bournemouth. So uh, listen, I think it's a smart deal. Yes, it's not going to set the world away. It's not... A super fancy saying that people might want, you know, like a Diamandi from Sport and Lisbon or Bongiorno, who I want to sign from Torino, is it? Or Bologna? One of the two. You know, like a fancy young, sexy named European defender. He's called Lloyd and we're signing him from free from Bournemouth. I get it. <laughs> but I think it's a great move. Smart saying. I'm looking forward to seeing him at the club. I think he'll do a solid job. And he's an upgrade. This is what we're seeing. It's an improvement. He is an improvement on your dummits and that that have now left. So... That's good news for us. Lloyd Kelly set a sign, a five-year deal at Newcastle with an option of another year. That's according to Romano, according to Sky Sports now. The medical is booked. He will be coming to Newcastle in the next few days and will be our first summer signing. It's going to be a busy window. What is it? It's only the 11th of June. So strap yourselves in for a very busy summer. Lloyd Kelly, the first one, as that improves Newcastle's squad, the defender comes in. Like I say, he can play a centre-back, can play a left-back. It's a smart move. I, I think it's decent. And then it, it frees up the money in an FFP world to really go out there and focus on what we need most, which for me is that right winger, another striker option. And these are all moving parts, though, because this depends on, do we sell Alm Almiron? Then we get some money so we can spare more. Do we sell Wilson? Then we do definitely need that other striker and a bit more money on it. I mean, we need, we need another striker anyways, because we are suffered last season, didn't we? Only having a rotation of Wilson and Isaac both who get injured, especially, obviously, Callum Wilson. So, yeah. There's loads to talk about in tonight's podcast, so stay tuned to the by Channel TV, 7pm and 8. I'm going to go out to bed. I need a nap after that. Oh, my dears. I need, I need to get the massage gun out. I need to get the CBD rub out. Shout out CBD life. I need that on. Oh, mate. I need loads of protein. I need everything because I am eating. But that was a great session. Thoroughly enjoyed me. Uh, my Thai debut. Coming soon. Coming soon. I will be there. So, you know what I mean? I'll be wearing these shorts soon. I'll just eat them apples. Huh? <laughs> Coming soon to ring the AU. New career. Probably not. Probably not. But it's good for you. So I, I enjoyed it. Good crack. Shout out to Sam again. Make sure you check him out on Instagram and stuff. And the lads doing here at the Northern Kings Gym in Ringside Dana. All right, people. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the signing of Lloyd Kelly. Subscribe to the channel. Give this one a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. The podcast tonight.